Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I just want to do a very quick video because it's Christmas and we need to give away uh, two Trade the Chain memberships and one Market Rebellion membership. And also we're going to be doing a uh, bonus giveaway at the very end. So I just want to make it, like I said, a very quick video and just talk about a couple of things that is going on in the market. Now the first thing we really need to talk about is the price action. And I found this remarkable that Bitcoin right now, it is, gosh, 5 p.m. on uh, Christmas. It's almost, it's it's going to be 24-7, uh, 24,700. It might even hit 25,000 by tonight, not for sure. But it's up four, almost 4%, 4 and for the week, 8.3%. Uh, so when I take a look at Bitcoin, and I think, man, these these prices are so crazy. But what's, what's even crazier is that for us to have hit 19,900 or whatever uh, the all-time high was previously in 2017, the market cap had to hit $840 billion or somewhere around there. Right now we're sitting at $677 billion and Bitcoin is well ahead of that. What does that mean? That means that the dominance of Bitcoin is incredibly high. And actually you can see it right here, the dominance of Bitcoin is almost at 70%. So 70%, almost 70% of every dollar that is actually going into the crypto market is going into Bitcoin. The rest, I mean, a paltry 30% is going into the other thousands of, of projects. And not to really make it seem quite uh, substantial, but I mean, the next closest one is Ethereum and it's got a lot, 71 billion, that's pretty good. But then the next one is 20 and then it just drops off a cliff, uh, 14, eight, five, four, threes and twos and then ones and then uh, just into the hundreds of millions which is a lot of money let's be honest but as far as like an asset class it's not that much so when people talk about you know institutions are here and you know what are they really into and uh, it's bitcoin it's bitcoin right now and people say yeah but they're behind the scenes they're buying I'm, I'm like i don't think they're buying that much up honestly i think for them to wrap their heads around it this is pretty much as good as it's going to get for a while and the rest of the, like the altcoin season there's going to be an altcoin season but it's not going to be institutional investors i firmly believe it's just going to be retail investors for the majority and you're going to have some institutional players kind of dabbling in there that much and you can just take a look at the market right Right here, like I say, 67.6% uh, is all Bitcoin, and it is what it is. When I first got into into crypto, I was kind of ticked off that you know they, they kept telling me that you know Bitcoin, 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 and I'm not saying Bitcoin's gonna be around for a thousand years. I'm just saying that for the for the near term, it's what everybody's gonna be uh, investing into. It's gonna be what your mom and your grandparents and your siblings and everybody else can invest into because all they're gonna know. So, like I said, when I first got into it, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, it's so much money to put into Bitcoin. I didn't really like it, so I kind of just looked around for everything under the sun, and I had a ton of different altcoins. And, uh, you know, Sh Shamath Pelepataya, uh, he even said, he goes, why even think about it? Just go for the easiest one and the one that has, you know, the, the dominance and just go that route. And that's true, I mean, again, in the near term. Now, in the midterm to long term, if you just take a look at uh, the first mover advantage as far as like a browser, right? Netscape Navigator back in the day was huge and uh, no one knows what that is anymore. Yahoo as a search engine was enormous and uh, no one knows uh, anything. I mean, we, we, we use Yahoo here and there, but it's not like it was. So just realize that for, for the near term, you're going to hear a lot of Bitcoin. And for the other stuff, the other altcoins down there, that is a longer term play and it could play out massively. But uh, the real question is, which ones are they? And I've already got my my, uh, my positions in a lot of different uh, areas. I've got my positions right uh, in a lot of different cryptos, but I've also got uh, the four that I'm putting in heavily right now every single day, which is a video we did yesterday. You can check that out later. But uh, this is what's going on. And uh, it looks like Bitcoin is just dominating everything. Anyhow, Ethereum is Ethereum tethered. Who cares? XRP is down massively. We're going to talk about that. Uh, that's the big two stories, really. Litecoin's up big uh, again because of the whole PayPal thing. Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash is up pretty good, 7.1%, pretty good. 2% for Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV. And then some of the big winners, let me just go down here. Celsius is going to break in the top 20, and it's almost going to be $4. I remember a, we did a video about a month ago, and I said, wow. Celsius is going to hit up to over two dollars. It's going to be fantastic, and here we are. We've almost almost doubled that. And since the very beginning, I mean, it's been growing leaps and bounds. It's 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 just enormous. So congratulations, Celsius holders. I am one of them. So just so you know, I'm pretty biased. Uh, C die sure crypto.com down a little bit, but whatever. Dang, 12% for the week. What the heck is going on? 
I'm, I'm sure it's some kind of controversy with crypto.com. There's always something about, you know, the staking and the rewards and I just don't get into it. Theta is up huge, uh, 60% for the week, 8%. And again, uh, I remember reporting on like, hey, it's almost 60 cents. Now here we are at a buck 29. So again, Theta Network, uh, again, biased me. And then, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So let's, uh, let's just do a couple of quick stories and then let's talk about to give away some free stuff, huh? Okay, first up, XRP source 50%, what's beyond their recovery? But on top of that, uh, breaking, Bitstamp becomes the first major exchange to halt trading due to SEC lawsuit. And of course, all the gains that were made uh, just got wiped away. So, and you'll notice that this is Friday 12, December 25th, 618. And the next one is Friday 12, 25, 1629. So in the course of uh, what, 12 hours or so? Um, yeah. Didn't really work out so hot. So this is what's going on. On December 24th, XRP soared 49% in just a couple of hours, peaking at almost 38 cents. That's pretty good. On the Bitstamp, it's funny, on the Bitstamp exchange, which is the one that uh, halted trading uh, just a couple hours later. That's great. And this is this was, I don't care about the rest of it. This is what I care about. Clayton gets replaced by a pro crypto chairman. We had talked about this. I actually had done a video like an hour after after Commissioner Pierce. She put out a uh, tweet said, "Hey, congratulations to new chairman Roisman. Uh, Roisman, I'm really excited to uh, you know have you uh, as the chairman." Whatever she said, and we know that uh, Clayton was out. No one is a no one's a fan of him. He's not a fan of us. So great, good riddance. But people were ecstatic about uh, this guy uh, Elad Roisman because he's he's uh, a pro crypto guy just like uh, Hester Pierce. So those are two two people in power in the SEC. That's great news. However, this is the interesting part. Despite the outpouring of hate towards Clayton, lawyer Jake Chervinsky, if you don't know him, he's on Twitter. Definitely follow that guy. He's the one that's been breaking down this whole SEC type of thing. And uh, he's Oh, it's fantastic. His Twitter feed's great. He notes that he wasn't even mentioned in the complaint. Let me read this again. Despite the outpouring of hate towards Clayton, this guy, the chairman, he wasn't even mentioned in the, in the complaint. Hence, Chervinsky believes that the leadership changes are extremely unlikely to turn things around for Ripple. He states, it's unlikely that changes in SRC leadership will have any impact on the Ripple case. Given Commissioner Pierce's conspicuous silence, I guess the vote was unanimous in favor of filing. You have to remember, this whole thing with the SEC, it's not just about um, XRP being considered a security. That's a big part of it. The other part is about how XRP went about uh, marketing to the consumer as to who they wanted to buy. They didn't go to the institutional investors. They didn't do uh, for the accredited investors. They pretty much just stuck it and said retail this is this is what it is and that's fine i'm, I'm not here to debate it i don't really care because i am one of those retail investors the sec has a big problem with that and we're gonna see a lot of different things come out and there's already a lot of ton of ton of things that it's already been uh, out there so again this is gonna take years to solve unless uh, this guy eli comes along and says hey you know let's let's drop it but that's extremely unlikely uh once once the wheels are in motion it's hard to stop lady justice and that's just how it works so that's good news. And then, of course, we got this not too long ago. Uh, Bitstamp becomes the first major exchange to halt XRP trading due to SEC lawsuit. And I was I was going along the Twitters and checking out the Twitter feeds about everybody. And uh, some people are delusional. I mean, that's just, I'll just say it like that. Some people will say, this is great news because then XRP can move to another exchange. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then, and then some people will say, well, they're just halting it. So they're not delisting it. I'm like, well, I mean, there is a difference. I mean, we know there's a difference, but... The, the the results the same the price is going to drop and that's exactly what's going on here so starting from january 8th 2021 you have to understand you can still do it right now but starting january 8th u.s customers will no longer be able to deposit or trade xrp and this is what bitstamp states they go in light of the recent sec filing against ripple labs which alleges that xrp is a security we're going to halt all trading and deposits of xrp for our u.s customers on 8 january 2021 we will closely follow the unfolding situation and uh, yeah, sure, whatever. So that's what they're going to do. But this just comes back to something that Brad Garlinghouse said. He said that 95% of all the trading and transactions and what Ripple and XRP are doing is outside the United States. So with Bitstamp doing this, it only affects U.S. customers. This is going to be interesting to see what exactly happens 
uh, with the rest of the world. Because if we're only 5%, if, if U.S. is only 5%, this shouldn't make that much of a dent once people realize, hey, it's okay because, you know, uh, the rest of the world is uh, benefiting from XRP. And I'm wondering if the, if the, if the Southeastern Asian markets will actually uh, pick up the pace and start to do uh, more things with it, especially with SBI trialing uh, XRP. And so this is going to be a fantastic um, reveal to see if that is what happens. If it goes away, hey, you know, who cares? And then uh, hopefully the price will go up. But as of right now, I mean, the price just on the news and it hasn't even started, what the heck is first blood? We're down six and a half percent. I mean, we we're at almost 40 cents. Now we're at 31 and dropping. So we'll see. So that's the big news. So uh, that's a bummer of a deal. But again, we'll see what happens. I think if you're into XRP and you believe in it, this nothing affects you. And that's fine. You know, let's see what happens. But if you're kind of, you know, like, well, maybe this could be something, then, uh, I mean, to me, I, I honestly think it's a problem when you have constant negative sentiment on your business over over a prolonged period of time. And a court case can do that. I don't care how great the product is. And that's just the truth because I've been a part of that. All right. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's uh, give away some free stuff, huh? Well, so first up, uh, we've got two trade the chain uh, memberships. First of all, what the heck's Trade the Chain? Trade the Chain's great because you've got TA, technical analysis, you got FA, fundamental analysis, and this is what I call sentiment analysis. That's what they call it. And it makes a lot of sense. Sentiment analysis, we can see right here the stories that we just covered. News drives this market. You have negative news and it pumps this uh, in, in any kind of cryptocurrency in a negative fashion. If you have any kind of mergers and acquisitions, something positive, some kind of listing, the price goes through the moon. So what the great thing about Trade the Chain is that they realize that and they go, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to crawl the entire internet. We're going to crawl, we're going to crawl these blogs. We're going to put down the sentiment analysis. We're going to be one of four cryptocurrency companies to have a direct API link into Twitter, and we're going to disseminate all this information and tell you exactly what could potentially happen and when you want to do a lot of trades. So this was one they just picked up uh, December 19th, and it was a listing for Graph. I had never heard of it. And what's cool is that this alert came right to my phone, and I could say, wow, look at that. There's this thing called Graph. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's being listed. Looks like a good thing. It was The alert was given December 18th at 519 in the morning, and in three hours, it went from 18 cents to 56 cents to an 11% uh, increase. If that sounds like something you think would actually help you, then all I want you to do is in the comment section below, just put in trade the chain and that's it. And then I'll have the guys over trade the chain, draw two winners and they'll have a membership. Now, on the flip side of that, you got technical analysis and that's what Market Rebellion is all about. This is from the, the uh, Nigerian brothers. Uh, they've been doing a lot of uh, options trading. You've seen them on uh, MSNBC and CNBC. And uh, these guys have now put together a crypto TA analysis education platform. And they're going to give away one free membership for an entire year. So it's pretty cool. You get trade ideas, some charts, member forum, weekly webinars, crypto education. And that's pretty cool. And then uh, a lot of things for like interaction and just teach you the basics of all the different trading, which I actually am a member of. And I've been learning a little bit here and there. So who knows? I might actually become a trader. I'm just kidding. I probably won't. But uh, it is interesting. Uh, but for people who are like really want to do the trading, this is probably a great thing. So for you, all I want you to do is put in the comments below Market Rebellion. And the guys over Market Rebellion will pick one winner. Here's what I recommend. If you like both of those things, put in Trade the Chain and Market Rebellion in the comments, and then we'll have the guys maybe pick you and you get two for one. Just all depends. And then also, if some of you have Trade the Chain, some of you have Market Rebellion. So for those, I'm going to say just do this. I want you to just type in the comment box Shield Folio, and we're going to pick a winner for the Shield, the Shield Folio Stone Book. I like this thing, like I always talk about. Last pretty long time, tear resistance, oil resistant, water resistant. And I like it because it keeps all my seed phrases in one place. Then you do this James Bond cool stuff. Yeah, that's neat. I haven't quite done that yet, but it looks neat. Usernames and passwords. And I have it all in one place. And I've got like, I got to tell you, <laughs> I got like 20 different uh, seed phrases from all the different things that I have. And I like because it's all in one place. I will remind you, I lost 20,000 uh, ADA because I had a bunch of slips of paper everywhere for all my different wallets and I don't know where the heck happened to it. 
would have the Shield Folio, still would have the 20,000 uh, Cardano, which if you've seen my prediction, I think Cardano is going to at least $2 in the next bull run. So yeah, I just lost 40 grand, but pff, what are you gonna do? I mean, you live and learn. So anyhow, if you like something like that, just type in there Shield Folio and uh, I'll actually, I'll have Freddie, he's the CEO, I'll have him draw the winner for tomorrow and that is it so if you like all this stuff uh go ahead and you know draw it and if you would like if you don't win for some reason you know there can only be so many winners uh just look in the description of all my videos and there's discounts and there's links to the official websites and go and check it out so so that is it so i want to make this uh, easy peasy uh and a very short video it went a little longer i'm sorry christmas huh and uh, but uh, that is it for today. So I appreciate you sticking with me to the very end and uh, I will see you on the next one.